We are starting on a new book, the book of Exodus. In this book, we will see the descendants of Jacob, also called Israel, exit Egypt. But how do they get out of there? They need someone to take them out of there. Exodus 1, the Israelites oppressed, these are the names of the son of Israel, that's Jacob, who went to Egypt, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, or Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and uh, Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. Asher. There were 70, and Joseph was already in Egypt. Now Joseph and all his brothers, they all died. But their descendants became fruitful, and they multiplied greatly. They became so numerous, the land was filled with them. Then a new king in Egypt, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power. He said, look, my people, to the Egyptians, the Israelites are too numerous for us. We have a drink of coffee. Come, we must deal shrewdly. That means trick them. Or they will become more numerous. And if there's a war, they will fight with our enemies and leave our country. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor. And they built Pithom and Remesis for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed. The, the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. They made their life lives bitter with harsh labor and brick and mortar and with all kind all kinds of work in the fields. King of Egypt said to midwives, Hebrew ones, whose names were Shifra and Pua. Basically, he said, when you are helping women give birth, if you see the baby is a boy, kill it. If it's a girl, let her live. But the midwives did not do what the king of Egypt told them to do. Then the king of Egypt asked them, Why have you done this? Why did you let the boys live? The midwives said to Pharaoh, Hebrew women, us Hebrew women, are not like Egyptian women. Hebrew women, they are vigorous and give birth before the midwives arrive. So God, the Creator, He is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, was kind to the midwives and the people increased and became even more numerous and because the midwives feared God he gave them families of their own then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people every Hebrew boy that is born he gave this order to, the, to all his people you have to try to throw that Hebrew boy baby boy into the Nile River but let every girl live. That was Exodus 1. Remember, keep God first. He'll take your place.